Welcome to the Farmer Tyler Homestead. Located less than a mile from downtown Gainesville, this is urban agriculture. I'm Farmer Tyler. I'm currently a senior at the University of Florida studying horticulture. My love for horticulture stems from my love for the outdoors. Over the last few years as a student, however, I started to realize studying horticulture often means sitting in a classroom. I love learning the science of plants, their physiological secrets, their inner workings. However, the more time I spent in the classroom, the more I felt my original passion for the outdoors was slipping away. I moved into this small property less than a year and a half ago. Previously in a duplex with no yard, I wasn't able to garden. When I moved into here, I knew I would turn this house into much more than a residence. Now, after a year and a half, this residence has been transformed into a homestead, complete with rabbits, chickens, raised beds, perennial crops, greenhouses, a rain collection system, and a composting system. Along with a six-hole putt-putt course, two hammocks, a treehouse, fire pit, slack line, picnic table, and entertainment center. The homestead produces many products for sale too. Eggs, live rabbits, rabbit meat, black raspberry plants, potted herbs, cacti, and many other plants. I believe this dynamic system responds to many issues facing agriculture today. This little homestead models many practices that I believe could help develop a sustainable planet. Many people believe an answer to world hunger is to expand agricultural lands. This often means destruction of natural habitats, deforestation, pollution, and increased greenhouse gas production. These all affect agriculture's footprint. I believe it's impossible to work on sustainable agriculture without keeping in mind the natural world. An advantage of urban agriculture is the ability to grow food without destroying natural habitats or forested lands. Additionally, urban development is often in temperate zones on good agricultural land. Urban agriculture helps make these previously productive areas productive again. Agriculture is the largest single source of greenhouse gas emissions in society. Although the post-harvest transportation of a crop is just a fraction of its carbon footprint, this fraction could be reduced if a portion of our food was grown locally. Conventional meat production relies heavily on grains. These grains could be used for human consumption to help reduce world hunger. In an ideal world, people would switch to a vegetarian diet for the health of the world. Realistically, however, people are going to keep eating meat. I believe a realistic approach to meat is to find an alternative production system. At the Farmer Tyler Homestead, I raise meat rabbits. Rabbits can produce six pounds of meat on the same feed and water that a cow would need to produce one pound of meat. And rabbit meat is more nutritious. When comparing equal weights of pork, beef, chicken, and rabbit meat, rabbit has the lowest calories, most protein, and lowest cholesterol. And rabbits are very productive. One doe, a female rabbit, can produce 320 pounds of meat in a year. That's more than a cow, and a cow would need two acres. Although I feed my rabbits a conventional grain-heavy feed, I try to supplement their diet with as much non-food material as possible, such as yard waste and certain kitchen scraps. Behind me is my most recent attempt to reduce my conventional feed use. This is a rabbit pasture, seeded with a blend of snow peas, radishes, carrots, beets, and wheat. I'm hoping this little pasture will help increase the sustainability of my homestead. A major reason I raise meat rabbits is for their role in nutrient cycling. I believe a sustainable system must have some form of nutrient cycling to reduce the need for heavy inputs. At the Farmer Tyler Homestead, rabbit manure is a major component of this cycle. Rabbits convert plant material into a slow-release fertilizer. The manure slowly returns nutrients to the soil, helping grow new plants and future rabbit feed. About 30% of food worldwide is wasted. It's wasted for various reasons, such as spoilage, 
pest, or it's simply discarded. Table scraps are part of this waste. By composting food scraps and other yard waste, nutrients that would have otherwise been lost to a landfill can be returned to agricultural land. Here, I have several stages of compost. I add fresh material to the first bin, let it age for a month, move it to the next bin, let it age another month, and finally, I'll have a finished compost. Compost allows me to cycle nutrients in my system. A major cause of world hunger is the uneven distribution of resources, such as fertilizer. A system such as this can use none or a greatly reduced amount of fertilizer. By supplementing and or replacing some of a crop's suggested fertilizer with compost. Nearly 70% of water used by humans worldwide is for irrigation. Water availability is becoming an increasingly important issue as water supplies diminish and water uses increase. Here at the Farmer Tyler Homestead, I utilize rain collection. A 50-gallon barrel collects runoff from my gutters for later use. At the Farmer Tyler Homestead, the goal isn't to model urban farming after conventional farming. Urban farming doesn't need to be some sterile field pushed towards high productivity. It can instead be modeled after a leisure garden, a place where relaxation, fun, and farming overlap. That's why I've added entertainment such as a treehouse, a putt-putt golf course, a fire pit, hammocks, and a slack line. If you'd like to see more, please visit my blog at www.farmertyler.blogspot.com or simply Google Farmer Tyler Plant Projects. Thanks for visiting the Farmer Tyler Homestead. To close, here are some of my favorite images from the homestead over the last year.